blah. So where are those? It's this one. Yes. Okay. So, okay. This is a worksheet of quadrilaterals chapter. Okay. Can, can you quickly tell me, let's revise what are, what are quadrilaterals? Liber, what is what is a quadrilateral? A bounded figure which has four, yes. anything four, right? Yes. Yeah. Four lines, four vertices, four edges. Not edges, four lines and four vertices. That's all, right? Okay, mashallah. So, so the first question uh, here is, a diagonal of a rectangle is inclined to one side of the rectangle. Okay. Um, let's create a space here. Come on. Okay. The question, the first question, can you please read this question? Laiba, come on, read the first question. A diagonal of a rectangle is inclined to one side of the rectangle at 25 degrees. Okay. The acute angle between the diagonal is. Okay, the question here is, let's create a rectangle. The question they have asked you is, if you have to create a diagonal, okay, the inclination is how much? How much is the inclination given, beta? 25 degree, okay? This is the inclination given. Okay, if we'll form another diagonal here, a diagonal of rectangle is inclined to one side of the rectangle at 25 degree, okay? The question they have asked is the acute angle between the diagonals, okay? The diagonal, so we'll draw, draw two diagonals and we want to find the acute angle between the diagonals, this acute or this acute or this acute, okay? Whichever among this you can find. Let's find this acute because it is nearer to the triangle and it, we can find it easily, okay? Let's consider this triangle, beta. Which triangle is can be considered? This triangle can be considered, right? Because 25 degree angle is given here. Right, so this yes. is A, this is O. Let's consider A, B, C, D. Let this be O. So we have O, A, B, angle O, A, B, right? Do you know in, in, in a triangle, in a triangle, two inbound, inbound angles are equal to what? Mm -hmm. Can we not write this as in this way? A second, how can we write this? Uh, let's just say this. Okay, yeah, pick is there a Okay, what we'll do your ears. Just a second, beta. There's some. Okay, fine. So, do we know that diagonals are equal in this rectangle? Do you know that diagonals are equal in the rectangle? Two diagonals are equal? Yes, right? So, what do we infer from this? AC is equal to? What is AC equal to beta? This AC equal to BD, right? Yes. Do you know this? Yes, we know AC is equal to BD. If AC equal to BD, then this, these two angles, these two sides are also equal. For example, this triangle is formed, right? Triangle is formed. Here, here, AC is equal to BD, hai, hai? AC and Okay. Uh, can you hear me, Laiba? Yes. Okay, there was a call here, so just uh, dismissed. Okay, now we have A, B, and O. So, now we will see this angle ko dekhenge, A, C, and A, B, C, D. Is tarah likhenge, isko. Okay, we have 25 degree here, bit, okay? If A, C is equal to BD, can we not infer AO is equal to BO? Can we not write this, Peter? This and this are equal. Kis tarah hum likh sakte hain? Kyun? Kyunki half of, yeah, this diagonals bisect each other, right? Diagonals are always bisecting each other. Bisect ka matlab kya hota hai? They divide each other into half, right? Correct? Agar AC is equal to BD, so half of AC is equal to half of BD. Half of AC is nothing but AO. Half of BD is nothing but BO. So OB and AO are equal, correct? In this triangle, AO or OB equal. Hai, hai? Agar AO or OB equal, hai, we can infer one thing. Do you know this? If opposite two sides are equal, then opposite angles are also equal. Do you know this? Yes. Yeah. So, here, which angle is equal, right? Angle A and angle C will also be equal, right? If two sides are equal, then two angles are always equal, correct? We know this property of the triangle always. So, here, 25 degree, if this angle A is equal to 25 degree, then angle B is also equal to 
ट्वेंटी फाइव डिग्री डन तो यहाँ पे इसका ट्वेंटी फाइव डिग्री मिल गया हमको ठीक है अब हमें चाहिए एक्सटीरियर एंगल डू यू नो दिस द सम ऑफ इंटीरियर ऑपोजिट एंगल्स इज इक्वल टू सम ऑफ एक्सटीरियर एंगल यस राइट यस सो हाउ कैन वी इन्फर दिस नाउ ट्वेंटी फाइव प्लस ट्वेंटी फाइव इज इक्वल टू हाउ मच सम ऑफ इंटीरियर ऑपोजिट एंगल्स ट्वेंटी फाइव प्लस ट्वेंटी फाइव इज इक्वल टू दिस एंगल एक्स ओके एक्सटीरियर एंगल हमें एक्सटीरियर एंगल ढूंढना है हमें सो एक्स इज इक्वल टू फिफ्टी डिग्री सो इज इट राइट नाउ इज फिफ्टी डिग्री अवेलेबल हियर इन दी चॉइस यस दिस इज दी आंसर टू दस अंडरस्टर्ड इसको किस तरह हम क्रिएट करते हैं जस्ट राइट दिस रेक्टेंगल इसमें दो हम बाइसेक्ट करते हैं जब बाइसेक्ट होंगे तो ये और ये इक्वल रहेगा करेक्ट बेटा वे ऑल्सो नो सो ये अगर दिस एंड दिस आर इक्वल तो ये ट्वेंटी फाइव डिग्री है हमारे पास तो ये भी ट्वेंटी फाइव डिग्री बन जाएगा करेक्ट रॉन्ग यस इफ दिस एंड दिस एंगल्स आर इक्वल देन द ऑपोजिट एंगल एक्सटीरियर ऑपोजिट एंगल इज सम ऑफ द इंटीरियर ऑपोजिट इंटीरियर ऑपोजिट एंगल्स करेक्ट सो ट्वेंटी फाइव प्लस ट्वेंटी फाइव गिव्स यू फिफ्टी डिग्री है दैट्स ऑल करेक्ट ओके दैट्स ऑल ओके द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन अलाइबा चलो अब आप सॉल्व करके दिखाओ मुझे कम ऑन कैन यू सॉल्व दिस फॉर मी स्क्रीन पर कर सकते हो लाइबा कैन यू सॉल्व दिस ऑन द स्क्रीन इफ नॉट यू कैन सॉल्व इन द रेफ यू कैन सेंड मी द आंसर जस्ट गिव मी द हिंट जस्ट टेल मी हाउ टू सॉल्व दिस इट्स अ रॉम्बस राइट सो इफ दिस इज अ रॉम्बस ए बी सी डी बताया गया है ठीक है यहाँ पे जब ए बी सी डी बनते ए बी सी डी यू हैव टू राइट इट इन ऑर्डर ऑर्डर में लिखना होगा ए के बाद बी बी के बाद सी आंसर आफ्टर सी यू का राइट डी ओके द क्वेश्चन दे हैव टू यूज एंगल ए सी बी इज इक्वल टू फोर्टी डिग्री वेर इज ए सी बी नाउ यूर बेटा एंगल ए सी बी डायगन ड्रॉ करेंगे करोगे तो मिलेगा राइट Yes. Yes. You will get it after you draw the diagonal. If you draw a diagonal here, A C B, ठीक है? तो ये एंगल उन्होंने बताया है कि it is forty degree. What did they tell you? It is forty degree. Correct? अब जो एंगल आपको find करना है, that is A D B. ये एंगल find करना है आपको. आप किस तरह find करोगे? Can you please tell me how will you find this angle? Isn't this easy? यहाँ पे Z है, देखो Z. It's an alternate angles. If this is a forty angle, A will be forty, correct? Yes. Na and the angle we may angle made by the diagonals is ninety degree here, correct? You know this already. So ninety degree is equal to forty degree plus x. Is it right? Yes. How did we do this, beta? A rhombus. We have drawn here. One angle. यहाँ पे दिया गया है दैट इट इज फोर्टी डिग्री करेक्ट यस तो ये एंगल हमें फोर्टी डिग्री मिल गया व्हाई इज इट दिस एंगल फोर्टी डिग्री इंटीरियर ऑपोजिट एंगल्स अल्टरनेट ऑपोजिट एंगल्स अल्टरनेट ठीक है जेड शेप एंगल्स क्योंकि हमें ये पैरेलल ग्राम और ऑपोजिट साइड आर पैरल राइट This and this gets forty degree. Alternate angles are same, but हमें पता है कि two diagonals when they intersect each other they form a ninety degree always correct. नाइंटी डिग्री यहाँ पे एक्सटीरियर एंगल इज नाइंटी डिग्री इंटीरियर ऑपोजिट एंगल्स वी नो दैट सम ऑफ इंटीरियर ऑपोजिट एंगल्स इन अ ट्रायंगल अब ये ट्रायंगल कंसीडर करेंगे इज इक्वल टू द एक्सटीरियर एंगल सो फोर्टी डिग्री इसको एक्स लिख लेंगे हम ठीक है वी वांट दिस एंगल फोर्टी डिग्री प्लस एक्स इज इक्वल टू नाइंटी डिग्री राइट लाइबा वॉट इज एक्स नाउ सोल्व फॉर इट फोर्टी डिग्री प्लस एक्स इज इक्वल टू नाइंटी डिग्री प्लीज सोल्व फॉर इट फोर्टी डिग्री प्लस एक्स इज इक्वल टू नाइंटी डिग्री चलो बेटा उसका आंसर बताओ वॉट इज एक्स Soon. Like what is x? Fifty degree. X is fifty degree. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Do you find it in the equation? Multiple choice here. Yes. Which which is the option, please? Option C. Okay, this is correct answer. Uh, is it the is this done in your in your classroom? Is this solved? Is this worksheet being solved in your class? Um, no. no, you have not solved this. Is the first time you are going to solve this? Yes. So please write all of this down in your rough book, beta. How I solved it? Please write it down in your rough book. Did you write it? Did you write it, beta? Yes, I wrote. Okay. Uh, now, uh, okay, should should do you want me to repeat this? No. No. Was it easy? 
Yes. Yes. So this was fifty degree. What was the previous one? What was the answer to previous one? Twenty five plus twenty five, right? Twenty five plus twenty five gave you fifty degree again. This the answer to this was fifty degree. Okay. The next question. If the angles A B C D of a quadrilateral A B C D taken in order are in ratios three, seven, six, four, then A B C D is what? What is A B C D? Is it a kite? It is a trapezium? Is it a rhombus? How will you solve this, beta? They have just give you given you the ratios of the angles. Okay. Now they are going to ask you what angles are. जब ratios दिए जाते हैं तो they are not giving you the certain thing. Okay. So what you have to consider here is angle A is equal to three x. Okay. Angle B is equal to seven x. Please write this everything down. Whatever I am saying. Angle C is equal to six x. Angle D is equal to four x. Why did we write this like this, beta? Why did we write it like this? Because the ratios are given. Only the ratios are given. Correct? Mm -hmm. Sir, ratios दिए गए हैं. तो x इसके साथ जब मिलाएंगे, तो we find the angle A, angle B, angle C, angle D. Okay? Do you know what is the sum of everything in the quadrilateral? All the angles का sum क्या हो रहेगा? This angles form one eighty degree. This angles forms one eighty degree. One eighty plus one eighty. What is one eighty plus one eighty, Laiba? Three sixty. One eighty plus one eighty is. Laiba. Three sixty. Yes, it's three sixty degree. So we know that angle A plus angle B plus angle C plus angle D. What does it give you, beta? Three sixty degree. I've told you already, right? Whatever the quadrilateral B, one eighty plus one eighty gives you three sixty. The angle, the total num angles, the sum of all angles should be three sixty degree. Uh, now, to in order to find x, what we can do is a uh, sum of all of these uh, sides. Okay, three x plus seven x plus six x plus four x. What is the sum of this? Is three sixty degree. Now, Labo, tell me what is. Uh, come on, solve this algebraic expression and tell me the answer to x. X is equal to. Labo, solve this algebraic expression. Three x plus seven x plus six x plus four x is equal to three sixty degree. Your Labo can just tell me quickly. Tell me the fine answer of x. Its sum kya rahega, beta? Three x plus seven x plus six x plus four x. Labo. One one. What is it? Six plus four ten. Ten plus seven seventeen. Eighty nine twenty. Just how many x? 20x 20x is equal to 360 degree correct now how will you find uh, the value for x only x 360 over 20 right yes what is 360 over 20 what is x equal to beta 20 okay. is it 18 degree Yes. Did you write it in your app book? X is equal to eighteen degree. Now what you have to do here? Is me apply karogi app x x you have to apply in all of these angles. Come on, apply it. Eighteen into three. Angle A kitna rega? X ka value hume mil gaya, right? Angle A kitna rega? Three into eighteen. What is eighteen into three? Please tell me what is eighteen into three. Fifty four degree. Excellent. The next one. एंगल बी कितना रहेगा सेवन इंटू एटीन वोट इज सेवन इंटू एटीन वन ट्वेंटी सिक्स यस वन ट्वेंटी सिक्स एक्सलेंट वोट इज सिक्स इंटू एटीन One hundred eight. Okay, what is four into eighteen? What is eighteen into four? Seventy two. Seventy degree. So, how many angle A, angle B, angle C, angle D of the quadrilateral we have got in this way? Can it be a rectangle, beta? Rectangle बनने के लिए क्या चाहिए था हमें? नहीं 
रेक्टेंगल बनने के लिए वी नीड नाइनटी डिग्री बट वी डी नॉट गेट सो इट कैन नॉट बी रेक्टेंगल नेक्स्ट थिंग रॉम्बस उन्होंने बताया कैन इट बी अ रॉम्बस रॉम्बस ऑल्सो हैज नाइनटी डिग्री इट इज जस्ट द ट्विस्टेड फिगर यू नो दिस ओके पैरालोग्राम तो बिल्कुल नहीं बन सकता क्यों वाई कैन नॉट इट बी अरालोग्राम कैन यू प्लीज टेल मी वाई इट कैन नॉट बी अ पैरालोग्राम अगर आप ए बी सी डी लोगे यहाँ पे सी डी लोगे यहाँ पे वाई कैन इट नॉट बी अ पैरालोग्राम ओके कैन वी जस्ट ट्राई विद ट्रपीजियम एंड सी दिस कैन गो विद ट्रपीजियम A, B, C, and D. No, we have to write it in this way. A, B, C, D. इस तरह लिखे होंगे. Okay. A, B, C, D. यहाँ पे दो obtuse angles चाहिए, ठीक है? No, we should not write it in this way. Okay. How we can write it here is, if we go it in this way, it can actually cannot be a parallel parallelogram because trapezium should have B, C. The consecutive two sides are Of obtuse here, okay? Because this is obtuse. Then, because here, see, B and C are obtuse here. That's why you can't do a parallelogram. Okay? Why can't you do a parallelogram? Is because I just told you this. This is the reason. Here, see. I'll just show you. If you have a parallelogram in this way, here, see, obtuse, right? Obtuse means from ninety to above. Okay? Beta, can you hear me? Yes. ए बी सी डी अगर ए बी सी डी इसको लिखोगे आप तो देखो यहाँ पे इफ दिस इज फिफ्टी फोर डिग्री यस बेटा इफ दिस इज वन ट्वेंटी सिक्स डिग्री इज दिस वन नॉट एट कैन दिस बी वन नॉट एट डिग्री कैन एंगल सी बी वन नॉट एट डिग्री नो बिकॉज यहाँ पे एक्यूट है एक्यूट का मतलब लेस देन नाइनटी डिग्री है यहाँ पे एंगल कैन यू सी दिस करेक्ट राइट यस सो दिस कैन नॉट बी पैरलोग्राम समझ में आ रहा है आपको समझ में आया या नहीं जस्ट चल में एंगल बी और एंगल सी देखो यहाँ पे 126 ट्वेंटी सिक्स एंड वन नॉट एट दीज आर एंगल्स करेक्ट मोर देन 90 डिग्री राइट व्हेन टू साइड्स आर ऑप्टूज दैट ओनली ऑकर्स इन ट्रपेजियम करेक्ट यहाँ पे देखो ये भी ऑप्टूज है ये भी ऑप्टूज है राइट सो वी कैन राइट ए इसको बी लिख सकते हो आप इसको सी लिख सकते हो आप इसको डी लिख सकते हो दिस कुड बी फाइन समझ में आ रहा है Yes or no? If you would have written this in the parallelogram, you would not get this answer right. अगर इसको आप a लिखते, अगर इसको आप a लिखते, a is equal to fifty four degree दिखाते, and this b, if you would write this b as one twenty something degree, and if this is c of one not eight degree, then this is wrong. Why is it wrong, beta? C should be acute. This and this should be equal. Correct? Not about equality. Here there is an acute thing here. Okay, there should not be an obtuse angle. That's all. Understood? Understood or not? Yeah. So this is a trapezium and not the parallelogram. That's all. That's all is the point. Fine. Have you written this down? All of the yeah. answers. Why was it a trapezium? Because two angles went obtuse and Then it cannot be in a in a parallelogram that two side by side angles are obtuse. That's all. The next thing, the question number four: the diagonals AC and BD of a parallelogram ABCD intersect each other at the point O. If angle DAC is equal to thirty degree and angle AOB is equal to seventy degree, then angle DBC is equal to how much? Okay. What do you have here, Bita? Please tell me the question and pl please tell me the data. What is given? What is given? Just tell me what is given. Parallelogram AC. There is a parallelogram ABCD. Excellent. Diagonals. They have a diagonal. Excellent. This is a diagonal. Then, then what they have given, beta? O midpoint, right? O is a point. Mm -hmm. Then what they have given? Angle D AC is equal to thirty degree. Isko mm -hmm. unhone thirty two degree diya hai, correct? And which angle they have given? Angle A O. B is equal to seventy degree. This is same as the previous we had solved. External angle is equal to 
sum of interior opposite angles now they are asking you what is angle dbc how will you find angle dbc if you will find this angle angle adc agar mil jayega to dbc will be same as adc correct correct beta yes yes to hum kya likhenge isko x likh lenge theek hai if 32 degree theek hai 32 degree plus x is equal to what 70 degree right right or wrong sum of two interior angles in a triangle is equal to sum of exterior angle so exterior angle is 70 degree 32 degree plus x is equal to 70 degree what is x quickly tell me what is x what is x liba 70 minus 32 Oh, is that right? 38. Isko 38 to, uh, we can, can we not say angle B is equal to 38? Why? Because alternate. Z, Z shape. Correct? Yeah. This is Z shape, right? A, D, B. B, D, B, C. Z shape, right? Alternate angle. So, this angle will be 38. Rahega. So, where is the answer? Which is the op correct option here? A, B, C or D? Live question number four, which is the correct option? Option C. Option C. Did you write it in your book? Yes. Yes, all written. Alhamdulillah. The bisectors of any two edges and angles of the parallelogram intersect at. Okay, the first question they have asked here is parallelogram. Bata hai, right? What are bisectors? Bisectors. Bisectors. Ka matlab kya hota hai? Bisectors. Ka matlab kya hota hai, beta? जो इक्वली हाफ करेंगे राइट लाइबा व्हाट इज बाइसेक्टर मीन आई कैन नॉट हियर यू डिवाइड डिवाइड यस डिवाइड एन एंगल इक्वली इनटू हाफ फॉर एग्जांपल इफ दिस इज इक्वल हाफ इफ दिस लाइन डिवाइड्स इट इन 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 इक्वल हाफ देन इट इज इज इट एक्चुअली द डायगोनल Yes, right. Yes. Do we remember that the diagonals are exactly bisect each other, and the, and the diagonals form what about angle beta? Do you remember what angle do the diagonals form? Is it not right angle? Correct. Yes. So it is a right angle. So it is ninety degree. That's all, right? Yes. The diagonals and the parallelogram form a form a right angle. That's all. It's ninety degree. Ninety degree. Okay. So. The next question, sixth question, Laiba. चलो जल्दी मुझे बताओ. Read the question for me. Laiba, can you please read the question for me? If one angle of parallelogram is twenty four degree less than twice the smallest angle, then the measure of the largest angle of the parallelogram is. Okay, ठीक है. एक parallelogram है हमारे पास. Let's write it as A B C D. Okay, Laiba. Yes. Laba, please pay attention in the class. Are you listening to me? Yes. Yes. So, parallelogram में उन्होंने smallest angle दिया है. Uh, they they have not given the smallest angle. Okay. If one of the angle of the parallelogram is twenty four degree less than the twice the smallest angle, let's consider this smallest angle as x. Okay. Let one angle be x. ठीक है? इसको x ले लेंगे. ठीक है? And then, if one angle, let's consider that as b. ठीक है? ये angle. If this angle इसके बारे में बता रहे हैं वो वन एंगल ऑफ द पैलोग्राम इज ट्वेंटी फोर लेस ओके ट्वेंटी फोर लेस देन ट्वाइस द स्मॉल एंगल ट्वेंटी फोर लेस का मतलब माइनस ट्वेंटी फोर करेक्ट ट्वेंटी फोर लेस देन ट्वाइस द स्मॉलेस्ट एंगल ट्वाइस द स्मॉलेस्ट एंगल सो दिस विल बी एंगल बी करेक्ट और रॉन्ग देखिये इसका किस तरह लिख सकते हो टू एक्स माइनस विल बी द एंगल एंगल वॉट बेटा Angle B. So much better. So angle mm -hmm. A is equal to x. If you write angle A is equal to x, then angle B will be equal to x minus twenty-four. That's all. Now, we have asked a question. Then the measure of the largest angle of the parallelogram. That means angle A is equal to how much? Angle B is equal to how much? Now, you can tell me. Can you tell me? 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 Is it is it not equal to one eighty degree? Uh, yes. Angle, ha. Huh, so angle A plus angle B because some of interior angles of a parallelogram are one eighty degree, right? Mm -hmm. Of anything, even if it is a rectangle, even if it is square, the sum of interior angles will always be equal to one eighty degree, right? Even if it is a triangle, 
So if angle A plus angle B is equal to 180 degree, then what we have? X plus 2X minus 24. Correct? For B, we have written 2X minus 24. And for A, we have written X. This is equal to 180 degree. Please write all of these down. Please reply. Now, what is the answer to X now? Find it out, Bita. Soon. What is X plus 2X? Live, um, okay, okay, please solve and tell me the answer to the x, just the x. Try to solve it, solve it quickly. Bit so, x just we have considered x is the smallest angle, and uh, angle b is the largest angle. So, x is equal to what? How are you going to find? Where are you now, right now? Is it 3x minus 24 is equal to 180 degree? 3x is equal to 180 plus 24. x is equal to 180 plus 24 divided by 2. Yes, yes, please. It's, uh, Excellent. The answer is 68 degree. But what do we need here, Bita? The x, the angle is the smallest angle. But we need the biggest angle, angle B. Correct? Angle B ka kya hota hai? 2x minus 24. Pe aap kya apply karoge? X you will apply here, right? 2 into, now tell me 2 into 68 minus 24. What is 2 into 68 first and then minus 24? This will give you the largest angle. That's all. Angle B will be the 2 into 68 plus minus 24. What is the answer to this? What is the answer to this, Peter? Uh, option C. What is the answer, Peter? Come on, tell me the degree. So, so it is 112 degree right the largest angle which is the option it is option c again okay so all of this was option c itself right no no for this one it was d okay okay no problem okay the next one uh this is quite easy you have to solve this and tell me what is the value of x that's very easy if it is a parallelogram find the value of x you know in a parallelogram there is a theorem which says the opposite angles in the parallelogram are what are I bit what are what are it better? Are equal. Excellent. The opposite angles in the parallelogram are equal. So how will you infer this? Angle A is equal to angle C. So angle A is nothing but 3x minus 50 is equal to x plus 40. Now tell me what is the value for x soon. X is equal to how much? It's given here. What is x equal to beta? Mm -hmm. Are you solving it? Yeah. Okay, mashallah, mashallah. Do it. Are you done? No. Okay, okay. Let's take your own time. Is it that difficult, Laipa? It's quite easy, Vita. 
Do you need any help? Laba, I cannot hear you. Are you there? Yes. Okay, please tell me what is the answer. It's quite easy. Should I solve it for you? 3x minus 50 is equal to x plus 40. This is what you have to write. What is 3x? We just have to send this here. 3x minus x is 2x. And minus 50, you have to send it here. 40 plus 50. What is 40 plus 50? This is your answer. Just this. 2x is equal to 40 plus 50. What is 40 plus 50? 60, 70, 80, 90. 2x is equal to 90. X is equal to 90 over 2. What is 90 over 2? 2 1 times, 2 4 times. What is the answer? 40. 45 degree. What was confusing in this bit? Please tell me what was confusing this. You are solving separately. Okay. okay. Uh, so it, you find found it difficult? No, I think I got some multiplication problem. Something. Okay, okay. It was multiplication problem. No problem. Okay. Was it easy, right? Uh, it's easy. It's just a 45 degree is the value for x. This is the answer to that. Okay. The next question here, better. The quadrilateral is formed by joining the midpoints of the sides of the quadrilateral PQRS. For example, is taken in order is a rectangle. Okay, the question they have given here, beta, is uh, if if you have a quadrilateral, for example, ye quadrilateral aap lo, okay? is quadrilateral me agar aap isko midpoints ko, okay? midpoints ko mark karoge, okay, if you'll mark these midpoints and then you will form a line in this, okay, then you want to mm -hmm. have a rectangle here. क्या बोलो इसमें आपको रेक्टेंगल मिलना चाहिए ठीक है कैन यू फॉरगेट अ रेक्टेंगल इन अ पैरेललोग्राम इज इट अ रेक्टेंगल बेटा नो नो दिस इज नॉट अ रेक्टेंगल इन अ पैरेललोग्राम यू कैन नॉट गेट अ रेक्टेंगल सो बी ऑप्शन इज रॉन्ग ठीक है नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट वी विल सी अगर रेक्टेंगल के अंदर अगर मिड पॉइंट्स जॉइन करोगे तो क्या आपको रेक्टेंगल मिलेगा लेट्स सी दैट ओके लेट्स क्रिएट अ रेक्टेंगल इसका मिड पॉइंट्स हम मार्क करेंगे Will you get a rectangle now? Yes. No, we actually won't get a rectangle. It would be quite like a rhombus. For example, they yeah. can a ke pass rectangle. Yeah, pe ab join karo ke. It won't be a rectangle actually. Okay. They go yeah. It won't be a rectangle. Okay. So PQRS is a rectangle. If a rectangle rega, to be aapko nahi milega rectangle. If parallelogram rega, to be nahi milega. Next option. Diagonals of a PQRS are perpendicular. Okay, let's see. The quadrilateral formed by adjoining the midpoints of the sides of the quadrilateral PQR is taken in order as a rectangle. If if diagonals of PQR is a perpendicular, first time diagonals draw karenge, yeah. okay? Let's draw two diagonals and make it perpendicular. Okay, then we will make a figure to that. Okay, and then we'll draw some points, midpoints. And then we'll draw up this one. This is exactly a rectangle. Why is it so, beta? Can you please tell me why is it so? If diagonals equal, rahenge, toh you can easily get the inner part as equal, right? Yeah. Pe this one and this one will be same. This one and this one will be same. This is actually the right answer. They are the option number C, okay? Uh, let's consider if diagonals of PQRS are equal. Equal, equal se badkar, Actually, you need it perpendicular, okay? If they are perpendicular, only then you can get the rectangle, okay? Yeah. So, this is the answer to that. The app option number C is the answer to this question, okay? So, we'll see the next page soon. I think we have time. Or we can solve two more questions, just two more questions, okay? Which of the following is not true for a parallelogram? Come on, tell me which of the following is not true for the parallelogram. You all, you already know the theorems. All in seven theorems, you know it. Now, please tell me which is wrong for the parallelogram. Read this question for me soon. Um, Please, uh, you you have to read this for me, Peter. Which of the following is not true for a parallelogram? Diagonals bisect each other. It's Do the diagonals true. bisect each other? Yes. Yes. Is the mm -hmm. opposite sides are equal? Oh, yes. Yes, correct. Are the opposite angles equal? Yes. Correct. Opposite angles are bisected yes. by diagonals. Is it right? Is it no. any theorem? No, we do not have any theorem telling this. So we only have these three theorems. This is wrong. Now, the next question here, Bita. You have to solve this for me? Come on. Please tell me the value of x. It's quite easy. 
What they have told you is angle A is this much, angle B is this much, then the value of X is what? It is same as how we solve that way. That way. The, what, what did we solve? Angle A, agar yaha rega, angle B, agar yaha rega, to what is angle A plus angle B? Angle A plus angle B, kya rega, beta? 180 degree, right? So, yes. 2X plus 15 plus 3X minus 25 is equal to 180 degree. Find the value of X sooner. It is quite and quite easy. Are you solving it, Bita? Yeah. Is it easy? Two yeah. x plus fifteen plus three x minus twenty five is equal to one eighty degree, uh, right? Thirty thirty eight. Excellent. So option D is your answer. So was were, were all these problems easy for you? Yes. Okay, Alhamdulillah. So it's fine now. Chalo, we'll see just two problems now. I think we can have time, just the five minutes left out. So we'll see this problem. Prove that the diagonals of the parallelogram divides it into two congruent triangles. Is it is it the first first one? First theorem? Diagonals of the parallelogram divides it into the congruent triangles. Correct? The first theorem on the parallelograms, Vita. Do you remember? Yes. Uh, do we want to do it for me? Uh, do, will you do it for, the, for me? Yeah, but if diagonals they have told you diagonal. So you just have to write one diagonal and show that these two triangles are congruent. How will you show it? It's quite easy. I'll just tell you how to, how you have to do it. Okay. Chalo. Yeah, but what you have to write, beta, you have to draw a draw a parallelogram first. A, B, C, D. Correct? Like Yeah. Then write one diagonal. Because here, what question is here? Just a diagonal, okay? One yeah. diagonal, two congruent triangles. Dikhana chahiye aapko. Kya, kya, kis tarah dikhaoge? Uh, triangle ABC and triangle ACD ko congruent dikhaoge. Kis tarah dikhaoge aap bita? Consider triangle, okay? Let's consider two triangles. Which are the two triangles, bita? Triangle ABC mm -hmm. and ABC. ABC and B. Okay. Anything, anything. Okay. ADC and ABC. In those triangles, you consider karoge. first, you kis, kis will see equal to equal. What is common here, bitta? AC is equal to yeah, AC? AC. Yeah. It is a common side. Very good. And then show me another another angle or something. Whatever it is, please show me. What you can show here? Can you not show alternate mm -hmm. angles? Alternate opposite angles. There is a Z here. Because in a parallelogram, two lines are parallel. Angle. Opposite. Yeah. Which angle? Angle D, A, C. Z form karo. You can form a Z here. Angle DAC is equal to angle ACB. Correct? So and this angle and this angle are equal. Correct, beta? So which yes. and which angle are equal? Angle DAC is equal to angle ACB. Right? Why is it equal? Write, write, the, write the proof. Alternate opposite angles are equal, right? If they are parallel. Correct. So, next angle. Which is the next angle, beta? Which, which is the next angle that you can show? There is another Z form here. Please show me the next angle. Of course, Z here. Can you not see? D, C, A. Here is Z. Here. Show me. Right? There is another Z here, beta. Yes. 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 These two angles. So, two angles will get. One side will get. So, which, which posture will I apply? Two angles on one side. A. Yes. A. So, from A as a postulate. These two triangles are congruent. Is it not proven? Yes. It's done. This this is it. This is it. You do not have anything more to prove. You just have to prove one diagonal. You just have to read this question very carefully, Bita, okay? You don't have to show the congruency for four triangles. You should not prove four triangles here. You just have to prove for two triangles, okay? That's all. Yes. Okay, mashallah. So... Alhamdulillah. We are done with this question. We just have two minutes left. Okay. There is a um, question here... Three angles of a quadrilateral are equal and the fourth angle is equal to 144 degree. Find each of the equal angles in a quadrilateral. How will you find this down, Peter? How will you find this, Peter? Three angles of a quadrilateral are equal. For example, what did I say? Total angles are equal to angle A plus angle B plus angle C in a quadrilateral equal to what? 360 degree, right? Yeah. Sum of all angles is equal to 360. If three angles are equal, 
then it is 3x right x plus x plus x what is it x plus x plus x is equal to 3x plus what is d it is given 144 is equal to 360 degree now you just have to find x find x beta 3x plus 144 degree is equal to 360 degree now find x Aisha, what is the answer to this what is x beta A light bar, right? I'm sorry, I just confused your name with previous students. <laughs> okay, light bar, what's the answer to this, Peter? Um, yes, it's quite easy, right? Yeah. Do you have a good hold in algebra? Or do you find algebra difficult? No, easy. It's easy, right? Okay, okay. Because these problems are algebraic, right? Uh, Algebra is quite easy. 3x is equal to 360 minus 144. What is 360 minus 144? It is 216, right? Oh, my. Yes. Anything? Oh my <laughs> okay, okay. You have to see this properly, Vita. See, here, what did I tell you? 3x plus 144 equals to 360, correct? So what mm. you have to do, you have to send 144 this side. If you send it on the other side, what you have to do is 3x is equal to 360 minus 144. What is 360 minus 144 gives you 216. So 3x is equal to 216. And what is x? x is equal to 216 over 3. What is 216 over 3? 3, 3, 1 times 3, 7 oh, times 21, 7, 3, 2 7, times 6. x is equal to 72 degree. This is your answer. That is all. The question they have given you is find each of the equal angles is nothing but 72 degree. That is done. 72 degree. 72 degree. You have to write this, okay? Angle A is equal to 72. Angle B is equal to 72. Angle C is equal to 72. And angle D is equal to 144 degree. That's all. Understood? Yeah. These problems are very easy. You just have to uh, be, well, be well prepared. That's all. Come on. Two consecutive angles of the parallelogram are x plus 60 and 2x plus 30. How will you find? Consecutive ka matlab kya hota hai, bicha? Can you please tell me consecutive ka matlab kya hota hai? Side by side ko bolte hai, correct? Yeah. Correct? Agar isko x plus 60 unho ne bataya hai, isko 2x plus 30 unho ne bataya hai, to how will you find it? Kya karo gya? Parallelogram mein sum of two interior angles is equal to what? Angle A plus angle B is what, bitta? Parallelogram, triangles, anything. Sum of interior angles are? 180. Excellent. So angle A plus angle B is equal to 180 degree. It is nothing but x plus 60 plus 2x plus 30 is equal to 180 degree. Quickly tell me the angle x. Angle, angle X is only 72, right? Abita, we did not find X here. It was the previous one. It is 2. It's done. The previous one is done. X is 72 degrees over. The next question. This is the next question. We are solving the third question now. Oh, yes, yes. The two consecutive angles. Here they question me question. Two consecutive angles. Consecutive ka matlab kya hota hai? What did I tell you? What does consecutive mean? Opposite is, opposite is different. A or A, angle A or C opposite only, correct? Angle yeah. A or B, angle A and angle B are consecutive angles. Yeah. Remember this. Hmm. Agar hmm. angle A plus angle B kya banega? They have told you angle A plus angle B is equal to 180 degree. But they have told you the angle A is X plus 60. And angle B is X plus 2X plus 30. Now tell me what is the value for X. That's all. This is the third problem, okay? Come on, tell me what is X. Soon. Let's see how well you can do in algebra. X plus X, it's it's quite easy. X plus X, 3X. 60 plus 30, 90. 3X plus 90 is equal to 180. 3X is equal to 180 minus 90. What is it? 3X is equal to? 90. 90, correct? What is X equal to beta? 30. Excellent, this is 30. X is equal to 30. And then, the, oh, can you not find this angle? The angle kya banega? Please tell me angle A kya banega? 30 
30 plus 60. What is 30 plus 60? 90. 90. So angle A is equal to 90. What is angle B, beta? Hmm. Ninety. It's ninety. So the question they have told you is, what special name can you give to this parallelogram? Angle A B आपको ninety मिल गया, angle B B आपको ninety मिल गया. So what is this parallelogram named as? Rectangle. Excellent. This is a rectangle. So this is it. This is a rectangle. Where this problem is not easy? Yes. Yes. Alhamdulillah. So can you not solve four, five, six problem as a homework for me and send it to me? Okay. This weekend, inshallah. Four, five, six okay. are the problem for you. Inshallah, you have to solve. It's quite easy. Quite, matlab, bahut jada easy hai, theek hai? You can just solve four, five, six problem and send it to me as a homework. Okay, that's all. Inshallah, we'll solve the rest of the problems in the next class. That is the next Monday, inshallah. So these case studies are quite easy. We can do it, inshallah. But uh, four, five, six, aap mujhe bej nahi hoga, okay? Yeah. Inshallah. Okay, Jazakumullah khair and have a happy weekend. Uh, take care of yourself. Allah Hafiz. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Subhanakallah wa bihamdika. Nashad Allah ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilaika. Assalamu alaikum. Alaikum. Assalamu alaikum.